This is theft. Going to build something in 10 minutes. Let's get going then. Okay, right. So we're going to get a kick going on down here. And just going to do a simple 4-4 four, four for the sake of time. And I tend to like to layer my drums a little bit and I always use Combinat, which is a plugin which is nice to layer bass, bass drums at least, to make them a bit bouncier. Nope. Right, so get the kicks going there and we'll get, get some hi-hats. Where's the hi-hat I like? There we go. It's actually a clap, but I'm going to use it as a hi-hat. Because I can. Um, right, and we'll give it a little bit of shuffle. I tend to like to build everything, the most complex form of whatever I'm doing first and then I worry about the intro and everything afterwards. It's just sort of the way I like to, like to move things around. So I'll go there and we'll move it. a bit of automation so I like a bit of reverb I send it to a bus so it doesn't take over everything whoops for a bit of variation. <sighs> Move those over here. And get a bit of delay in there. I like to use delay designer because you can really make quite messed up delays. Um, and then I'll give it a bit of automation. Get some. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Uh, create a synth. We'll just go into a sampler and pick something I've already made. They've all got quite weird names, so don't judge me. Um, No, we want it all 
old school. I'm gonna make a base channel. Oh, why are you freezing? Right. Mm -hmm. And we want ESX24, put it in mono. And we'll load up something that I made recently. Where is it? Anyway. I really don't like this, so I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, once again, I'm going to go back to my sound toys and stick a bit of phase mistress on there because it can really make things sound quite interesting. Um, do a little bit of bass. Right, we've only got four minutes left, so. again go on to the just gonna bring the gain down on here so it's not peaking Three minutes left. Um, right. Let's get a bit of this reverb that I made before and give a bit of space. And we can shuffle up the drums a little bit here because they're sounding a bit boring. The way I really tend to operate is start with percussion most of the time because it's just sort of what, what I enjoy making the most, more or less, um, to start with because it can sort of set the mood for everything that's going to come after it. Um, um, what can I get onto now? Can make this a bit longer. Um, I'm not going to bother with mixing down, especially when I've got two minutes to go. Um, but you know, I would be compressing and doing everything that you usually should be doing. But um, I'm not going to do that for the sake of time. I'm going to get something else a bit fun going on here. Right, so, get rid of that. I tend to always um, quantize my synthesizers more or less if they're coming in MIDI um, and then make changes afterwards. Um, just look, I've got a minute left and this really hasn't amounted to much, but hopefully you'll be able to get a sense of what I've been aiming for. Um, just going to shuffle these a little bit. And that is it. 
Right, okay. Well, you know, 10 minutes. Managed to get 23 seconds. 30 seconds, not too bad I'd say. Um, but yeah, I mean hopefully that's just given you a little bit of an idea how I sort of operate. I mean, under pressure. First time I've been under pressure. But um, yeah, um, more or less I suppose what you can take out of this is, you know, being able to utilize buses. I mean, I didn't do much of it, but you know, sending your reverbs to buses and your delays and being able to automate it was actually a nice little challenge this was, but um, hopefully you've been able to get sort of an idea of how I operate.